Welcome back to HRN HQ. Ed DeRosa with Sarah Albadwi, and we are celebrating Civic Holiday with our Canadian friends. And what a day to celebrate, Sarah. Manitoba Derby Day at Assiniboia with the mandatory payout in the pick five. Do you even have any Canadian friends? I have people I know in Canada. Okay, that's a start. That's, yeah, I would like to think that Sherry Philly is a friend. Okay. So, yes, you do. I have a Canadian friend. All right. Well, all you need is one sometimes. But I would like to think that Canadians would say they're all friends. And well, so, especially today. Yeah. Celebrating the community. Celebrating the community. On this holiday. Yes. And we're celebrating with you. And we mentioned the mandate. Well, I mentioned the mandatory pick five. Manitoba Derby. But there is no better way to celebrate than beating the chalk. Oh, and I think we both have some really spicy information that uh, I'll show that this favorite that we have is extremely vulnerable. And before we get started, we want to tell everybody to like this video yes. and subscribe to our channel in order to get the Saratoga preview that's coming out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll be live that we've been doing every week as well as content in the future. Let me agree. <laughs> um, but pray for peace in this race, the Manitoba Derby. You don't see a lot of routes at Assiniboia. No, certainly not. Eight and a half, nine furlongs. But the few you we have seen have not been kind to the outside post. No. We have the track trends tool, gives kind of a survey of how the race plays out. I dug in specifically to the post positions themselves. In races of six or more, three for 55, post six and beyond going nine furlongs at a center boy downs, post eight and nine, over. And that's over the last eight years, 55 races. Not a great number for Pray for Peace. No, and I think it was favorites went over as over well. Over four, yes. yes. It's and small, but still, over four, not great. Yes, and the sample size that I looked at was just this year. There were only 10, but 60% of those 10 races, so six of them were won with the post to the inside. Pray for Peace also, last time when he won going a route of ground, Addison Aboya, he was post one. Mm. We have the sire moves report. Maybe we need a post moves report because a lot. Of, I've drawn a blank on the horse's name that won the Peter Pan that took a lot of money in the Belmont. We the people. Thank you. We the people. So you see a lot of discussion like, oh, fast number on a wet track. Like that's sort of a universally accepted. Maybe a little pause, dig into it a little more. I think a lot of people don't look at the post as much as maybe they should because this is a huge move from the rail to the far outside against a horse that, yes, he did beat by six plus lengths, but it is second time Deodoro, speaking to number five here before we get to our top pick from the same barn. There's some reasons to think even the tables might be turned there, but then there's a new shooter come, coming in that gets the rail. And he is first off the claim for yes. the Deodoro barn <laughs> as well. This horse isn't that slow either. It, it, no. There's projection that Pray for Peace is going to have to uh, go and cross over from the outside. Great escape, taking the blinkers off, might relax a little bit more, may not show as much early speed. And then Red Knots is the next one that's projected to be up there early and gets that in advantageous inside post. And this is a horse, too, that if you go back in the PPs as a two year old, was on the Kentucky Derby Trail running against horses that we've seen hmm. to go on to win grade ones, a place in graded stakes. This is a huge class relief for this horse. So this was Which where... Which you don't usually get to say about stakes race. Right. But, man, the competition's tough in Louisville. So right. KG claim perhaps by Deodoro. He has a second time for the barn, as we mentioned, in Great Escape. I think either one more than capable of upsetting the favorite on the outside. But I think we both sided with the rail. Right. And he actually has a third with the, the triple-headed yes. monster that he's bringing in here. Um, and Clancy's pistol draws post four. The short note for this one was wiped out at the break. So, of course, I had to go back and watch and see how bad it was. And it, can you insert bad. the wipeout music when you say that? We'll see what we can do. Okay. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> I mean, who needs it when you can just sing it for us? <laughs> well, I didn't want to do the, <laughs> the whole thing. high pitch wipeout. All right. Yeah. Well, it's. It's true. This yes. horse is really taken out to the point where you can barely even see him for a moment. Did you watch a replay? Uh, part of it. Oh, I, I watched the part that mattered. Yes, yeah. I watched the race live when it was happening. Oh. And they all come out of the same race. This was the one that also exited the uh, Pray for Peace mm -hmm. race as well. So 
even post four though, it's not like that post is getting that much more of an advantage. No, I mean it's the rail, it's and then the rail, it's the next two, and, and, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. So maybe with a better break, this horse is running on for second or third. Uh, because posts two and three, those horses kind of look like they're out of depth here, even yes. though they're being helped by the inside advantage. So maybe it's uh, from wagering. That is one of those. So where like to me, just forget how they look on paper, which is dreadful against these anyway. But if either one is able to just lope along, save ground, because I think this is a three-turn race at minimum at a Santa Boya. Maybe four. Right. <laughs> but save ground, you're just kind of jogging along. The eight burns itself out with the outside post, having to do too much, whatever else happens. If they get third behind one and or five. 40 to one, yeah, 25 you're, to one. You're in good shape. So right. there are ways to play it where you don't have to love a horse, but can use the post stats to your advantage. Right. Uh, but I'm definitely using my advantage. I think red knobs is... Single. Maybe, I was going to say maybe the, the lone A for me. Mandatory pick five starts in race four. And there is a, and I'm converting here, about an $80,000 guarantee on the dollar pick four. Starts in race five. Both sequences include the Manitoba Derby. We'll say it one more time. Like and subscribe. And your pick is? Red Knobs. Mine as well. Number one for me and Sarah, Manitoba Derby. Happy Civic Holiday, everyone.